Yeah, we saw it yesterday. It's just nasty if you have to play against it. And it is uncontestable. And, uh... He's alone. He's trying to yeah. zone out four heroes. It's a clockwork. But it's not as uh, survivable as he wants. So he can drop it low. One more hit needed. And first blood secured. In the meantime, TA2000 on the other side. First item, which is fine. This is a really good item. On side hunter, dead plus mage slayer mid. My G might get a kill onto Omar. Yes, he does. Will die afterwards with the rolling thunder and the Kaori rotation coming through. Then Tar Stomp for good measure. It's about to die anyway, so he joins the fun bottle anyway. But it's a lot of gold if you sack them up. Bottom though, Rolling Thunder comes out, reality, it's a uh, four-man move here to kill off this latest prophet, and there is nothing he can do. Stoic in the trees, trying to run away, which is, uh, I mean, not too surprising, considering he wasn't gonna kill Faces for top anyway. Oh, yeah, he's he pretending did. that he has Ravage, that's why he TP. Mid lane again, Mikey. Dropping low, NP all to use. Gory underneath the tower. Noob will be able to get the kill, but Gory dies. Omar might be a second one. He did just get his level six. They're blowing up the mines. There's only one managed to explode. Noob's being chased down. He does not actually have any mana to get out of there. Caught inside the cards with the battery assault on top. TA2000 joins in the fun. Has Chrono that he wants to throw out and kill off Stoic before he disengages. And we'll be able to get the bashes to get the kill secured. But a uh, pretty decent turnaround play here towards mid. Yeah, really good play from Winter Bears. They out as well. Oh, Mikey again. Yeah, there's a lot of mines and he can't get rid of them while he's disarmed. They throw out the uh, sentry the moment he wants to melt. And will get Laning wise, I find it to be... the. Like anything that has insane go ungodly range is ridiculous. He's sniper, play. basically. Yeah, it's just not fun to play against. Oh my! Look at this stun off right before he drops, knowing he's gonna drop. Rolling thunder from noob to try and get the catch here, but actually needs to be able to run away himself. He's dropping very low. Malik as well needs to screw her back to safety. Luckily enough for them, Mikey doesn't have a blink dagger yet. Otherwise, they might have been. Uh, and TA does hurt. He, he's got that dragon land, so he has the range to stay out of the way from the, the rolling thunder at all times. Tide is gonna get gone on bottom lane. There's even two supports more coming in. There's the skewer RP underneath the tower. All five dire heroes to kill off this Tide, who will finally fall. Yes, he does. A little bit longer and a hefty rotation required, which of course means. Wondering why, because like Crystalis doesn't build into. Silver Edge anymore. The only thing you can get is Daedalus and Panda. Roll uh, mid. They are going for Mikey. They throw everything on him. Big Skewer, Rolling Thunder. But he soaks up the entire damage with Refraction. Like, they, they hit him really big three times. And he's like just standing there. Yeah, Refraction. Thank you very much. You're not. Oh, he's oh, that's a bit of an aggressive one. Throws out the dead in the water, has the Ravage available, there's gonna be the Ravage blow, can they kill off Omar, yes they do, the Chrono gets thrown, but Yeezy lifts him out of the Chrono for the time being, hook Good shot hook from shot. Hook, Stoic actually gets unfortunately connected, there's the RP onto Rubik, using it onto the Rubik so that he does, oh ho, 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 he almost got the RP as a response off, and Malik going for the TP out of there, the Glight here one second away from being able to get cast, while well, Mike is going for the backline chase, Gori, Leaping over Stoic, but still being chased down, caught inside the cogs, and the Enchantress, can he disengage? No, he cannot, dead in the water, held in place, taken down, and Mikey is unstoppable. They're not done, ooh, reality misses. Yeah, what life. stage this void's gonna choose to go for a PKB? I, I find it fairly scary. They're actually going in onto the tight in mid, he's got the Ravage at the ready. A lot of enemies right here, Mike. Oh, the Chrono misses the mark. Kachel is gonna die, but they get the RP onto reality. The NP is surrounded by enemies. He's not actually taking that much damage. Speaking of damage, is coming through with Mikey here. Jumping in, TA2000 gets blown up. How is reality still not dead? Where is this defensive coming from? Malik on the run right now, very close to dropping. The stolen Chrono stolen from chrono. Cheesy. And there's the jump onto Noob in the back line. Will he be able to take him down? Where'd the crit that? He doesn't get lucky. He just doesn't get lucky on Mikey. 
Ooh, that could have been pretty big. I mean, they did manage to burst faceless for a little bit. So if they can find a good target here, Stoic spots out. Oh, more hook shots not going to connect. GZ does have the lift. That's an easier tag. Kachal, there's going to be dead in the water on the faces void, and the scores are all focusing the void down. He is dead. The rest of the quest lineup has to run away. Omar's actually going in because he knows he's going to drop, so tries to kill off Stoic, and he does find Stoic. I, did up. I need a BKB right now. It's very easy target. Oh, noob. Oh, shield. Already gone. They're chasing. Manta style on cooldown. There's he gonna be Glyph here. Up. He's very dead. It's hard to run away from a day just profit. So, uh, Enchantress uses Hurricane Pike to deal damage. They're gonna be stuck inside the sprout otherwise. A noob dead in the water. Jumping onto Malik. Hook shot as well. Magnus is dead. Has a buyback available. They're looking for more. Need to be a little bit careful, of course, coming through from a buyback, but Noob is just taking a heap of damage. One more hit, He's and flying. it is gonna connect. He is dead. No buyback for 80 seconds on the Pango. Malik still doesn't want to buy back just yet. They jump away, and they're gonna go for Rax. These barracks are gonna die so quickly. You have uh, two carries who are level 23, level 25. It's ton of damage. The child blinks in. Oh, Omar stays alive thanks to the Ghost Scepter coming through. Kachal is running out of mana as we speak. Mikey walking forward. Omar is dead. Buyback from the Magnus. They lost the racks already. They're going to go for Mikey. They drag him back towards the fountain. It is a double buyback. RP even used. They're going to kill Mikey. But yeah, it's a 10 kill streak and a lot of gold going their way. But Revives. Kachal, how's he doing? He's doing really well. Dead in the water. Dead in the water. Hook shot comes out. There's the Ravage blown as well. Push back. The problem is the TA is a little bit further away. TA 2000 gets to jump back. Reality going in. Gets himself prone. Need to be careful if Mikey gets an angle here. TA 2000. And the jump forward coming in. Oh, TA 2000. That stolen Prono comes out. And Jeezy tried to steal the RP there. He was uh, greedy for more, but will get the Empower, which is also not bad to give to his scores. Pangalier running away with the Wind Waker, has the Swashbuckle, has the Shield Crash, but has no way out when the Nature's Prophet joins the fight. Yee! Man's gonna get rooted up in the process, because he's got that disgusting Sprout Leashes. There's the GG call, and it is indeed Winter Bear that takes game number one. Now, oh, what a start of the day. I mean, this has to be, like... Massive upset and uh, coming into game two. I, I think for reality, it doesn't matter as much who's you got to be in Europe, pretty much. Uh, bottom lane, uh, Dark Chariot doing slightly better than I expected. Malik in a bit of a trouble, but uh, yep. it seems like Oik is in trouble. And reality will be able to get the kill onto Omar. A lot of damage to be pumped out. Malik actually. Takes a heap more damage than he would like, while Kachal dies bottom lane with the noob rotation. A level 4 Storm Spirit rotation as well. Jeezy dies, double kill for noob. Okay, that's a pretty good moment to Top lane. get a kill. Nature's Prophet's gonna TP in. Oh, or he going for the fight. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage actually on the Nature's Prophet, but will be able to get the kill and walk away. Yeah, lane's are always, but... Uh... Not going to be an easy one, and the reality put even a third point into Rocket Barrage, and most likely just going to die here to Malik. Yeah, trying to get as many creeps as possible before he drops Malik as he's unaware and tears. 3-0-3 on the Timber Saw. Nothing really to hold him back. And it might just be another one for our statistic of Timber Saw. Kind of always they removed the thing that was really annoying, so I'm happy about that. Kachal's gonna get zipped on and very quickly taken care of. Omar even steals the Wall of Replica right in the mid lane. Mikey has a Rod of Atos, which is nice. There's gonna be zipping onto Mikey. Do they have enough damage to burst him down before he gets some spells off? Yes, they do. On the side, Omar with. Uh, Stoic right next to him, TA2000 gets himself a second kill, chasing for GZ. The swap might keep him alive for a little bit longer, he needs to make sure that he does not walk in the tree range. Unfortunately, Malik can be everywhere and nowhere at the same time. 8k net worth lead now for PSG Quest. They expect to go for the high ground defense already. Kachal 
vacuum wall onto two. Nice catch coming out. Malik actually taking a lot of oh, damage Oh, he's here. dropping. And tries to get the timber chain away. Is going to get finished off, and that is huge. A four kill streak, but a lot of gold. That's more than one grand going to the dire side. And they catch him. There's also reality coming with a little bit of mana. There's a silence. Road of Athos are committing. They're going in pretty heavily. TA2000, the swap comes back. He is going to drop in another big kill on a core. It might be a big deal. Plus, your spells get reset. So, the second stun, the second swap, always a big plus. Big move away. TA2000 is going to get dragged back. The cog pushes him out. Wind Run's still going. He is still alive. Kachal has the wall plus a vacuum that he can drop. Mikey needs to be careful. At no exorcism available at the moment. That's another Rod of Aethers, though. They will lose reality again. Corey with the rotation coming through. Oh my, gets dragged back. Will be healed up. I don't know how he got that much healing, though, but is still gonna die in the end. There's gonna be the zip forward by you. Control onto the child. The Dark Sea is gonna get dragged inside the Stoic's cards. Which is not exactly where he wants to be. New He's silent. He needs to be careful. Rod of Aethers comes out. Jeezy with the stun. They will find a huge kill. But there's no more healing left for Mikey. And Jeezy will just be hunted by Malik. In combination with the Sprout, Shacker, and uh, Whirling Death combos. It is pretty nasty. He's going to go for the TP attempt. But Malik is too big and too deadly. Full team wipe for PSG quest. The first they killed. Ooh, Stoic just hookshotted his own death prophet. It's not really ideal. They're chasing in to try and go for Good the Timber tackle. Saw. Shackle comes out. Can they get the kill? Malik is dropping dead. Timber Saw has fallen. And they're looking here for more. There is still a cheese and an Aegis available, of course, but the Death Prophet Exorcism is doing tons of work. The cheese gets eaten by Tier 2000 preemptively, and he's just straight up dead. Double buyback. I mean, fighting into... Like, when they use their super tanky, currently sitting at 50 armor. Ooh, and another hook shot onto oh, his ally, but he will connect. He does get caught. Stoic quickly getting out of there, and they do manage to get the kill. Aegis Five is, seconds for ages. Yeah, it's about to expire. TA2000 is being chased on the side. They try to get the vacuum wall onto TA2000, but he'll be able to disengage for the time being. BKB TP out by Kaori. TA. Another BKB. Yeah, they're forcing out all Heavy the Heavy magical damage. And great against Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger also holding on to Nemesis curse. So be, oh. having this blast Swap. cannon makes him. You have it? He does. They have two ways of interrupting the T BKB TP as well. And Dory is going to die, but there is a rotation nearby coming in that they need to be very careful of. Or oh, it does get spotted. Omar is quickly dropping to Kachal while the fight continues. And the Wind Ranger finds his target. And that is no reality left in the fight. GZ is going to be the next one down. Mikey's in trouble. He d is silenced up, so he can't even get more Spirit Siphons going. And the fight goes all right. Very A couple of ways to scout out if there is something in Rose. Kachal, is he going to go for the blind jump? Yes, he is. They do manage to get the swap in onto the Ranger as well. Malik pops his Aghanim Scepter going forward. So he can travel. Gets the hook shot lined up onto TA2000 and gets away in the process. My lord, that was so clean. Malik pops the BKB. He's trying to run away from reality, chasing him down. The base Good is swap. in the meantime being destroyed. Malik silenced up. Mikey doesn't have another rod, and they will get him out. Uh, uh, um, what's it called? One Punch Man reference. Where it's like normal. Is punch. it? Okay. Yeah. It's like an anime wombo combo reference. But there is a chase coming in here. They actually gave the Agonim Scepter to Mikey, who now has a top net worth of the game. So you got a pretty nasty DP coming in on the back line. Kachal is going to get controlled up, taken down by TA2000. There's going to be a buyback coming from Stoic. Reality needs to be careful. Does still have that Aegis, though. Yeah, they're, they're getting pretty good. Uh, like th weird th things that you can do. People will find things to exploit, and there's going to be a huge fight. Burp, blank again, swap, swap immediately. Does get focused down. TA2000 did use his ulti on it, but does have the talent. Comes down the to Malik, jump on the back line. Reality, the vacuum wall comes out and they blow up newbies very quickly taken care of. Omar is going to be the next one down. TA2000 is on the run and it's the chase of the dire hunting for blood. Jeezy has his uh, 
illusion coming up will get nuked quickly because Gotta they don't want to have to swap out but Malik is going to get taken down and Kaori is surrounded by enemy shackle shot the swap comes no back way. in they're doing it and Kaori is dead he does have the buyback as you previously mentioned GA2000 trying to get the swap away but he's going to get controlled up and a huge engagement coming in right in front of the Roche pit that has My just reached trying to melt some buildings their top lane is being split pushed in in the meantime as we speak the swap comes out they pop they got him once can they get him a second time? Wind Ranger's ulti is going to be on cooldown because it technically doesn't count as a skill, but the big vacuum wall inside the cogs, they're stuck. Four staffs trying to get themselves out. Mikey is in trouble. Takes a heap of damage from TA2000, and Mikey is blown up. He Will lose his first life. Malik is, are they going to be able to get themselves back towards the front? And Malik is dead. Does have another buyback available. And the gyrocopter is stuck uh -oh. inside the sprout. The shackle. No, that's the rapier on deck. They're all trying to run away right now. Mikey bought back for this. Needs to be very careful, is in a very precarious position. And Kachal, they actually turn it onto TA2000. They drop the Rapier again. TA2000 has a buyback to rejoin, but Mikey uh -oh. not going Mikey. to be so lucky. He is dead. There is no money on the gyro for a buyback. The base is being pushed in. This might just be yeah. it. And how his inventory looks so empty on the gyro? It, it's so sad. You have four items, basically. And now they have Mega Creeps as well. 25 seconds without Gyro, they... I don't know if they have another fight. The heroes die so quickly. Yeah, they're trying to go for something. Kachal gets the drag back. Normal punch for pressure. Go for a second round. Vacuum wall again. They're trying to finish off the Ancient though before the Gyro Cup comes back alive. Dropping. And TA2000 dropping very low. The Gyro, he's up in three seconds. Can he get the damage in? They need the right clicks. Oh, TA2000 is dead, but still gonna go down. gets it done. It was so very close. That could have gone horribly wrong for PSG Quest, but Quest draft, I like it here. I think that Winter Bears try to salvage some of the issues. Aura's start early. Stoic versus Omar. There's going to be a lot of damage onto Stoic. And Malik actually walking in as well. Timber Chain. First blood. It's better to die there. I mean, th something that we said is this safe lane. We already from saw the timber chain come out, so it'll just be able to lead to safety. Unless you would have uh, Sinister Gaze level, that would be pretty nice. Kachal dropping low underneath the tower. Power Shock and XTA 2000 gets the kill. On both sides lanes. So this bottom lane not doing too hot for them when Ranger's teaming at 15 oh. 6. Uh, you did mention second point in Leech Seed. They can literally fight underneath the tower with two points in Leech Seed. He has the Avalanche. Curry dropping low. Will they get the kill? One more hit. Yes, he does die to. Oh, to the. Okay, so he dropped in. Uh... So no Has coil to. is available. Half of the tower gun. Also forcing a rotation bottom. Kachal in trouble. Toss forward. Omar dropping low. Taken down. Gory. Power shot. Kachal's going to be able to stay alive. Gory in the trees. Uh, Going for the uh -oh. XP rune. Oh, that's just disgusting. And even wanting to turn it back onto Kachal, who gets power shot and down. Oh, they're just outplaying them. It's just a pure outplay at this point. Kaori is probably one of those guys that uh, sets the timer every 6 minutes and 50 seconds, or maybe 45 or 30, to be able to snatch the enemy XP rune every single time. Killing Omar whoever, TA2000, is in trouble. This is four heroes. Let's see if he gets a good read on it. Well, he is going to get jumped here. And Ava, there's a toss available, not even needed. Kachal blows him up. He's got the Visage Familiars as well. Top side, reality chase down by Malik. Doesn't have a TP for another 10 seconds, which is problematic, as we see. And forced to spin, but without a TP, he is actually just straight up dead. Not getting out of this one. This is also going to be another tower. Malik on the chase. Lasso overgrowth. Mikey Puck is dead. Look for more. Stoic and that, the one caught out. 7k net with lead right now. On the side, TA2000 spots out Jeezy. Jeezy at least got the Wisdom Moon. They got both the Wisdom Moon. So, you know, his sacrifice is worthwhile. One of the things that I actually find very strange about the Lich is the level 20 talent, Chain Frost on Death. That one's so cool. Uh, 
Um, it is. It's basically Warlock. They, they wanted to give him something cool. Okay, oh, now we see the Omni power Slash. of Plush. Does uh -oh. do a lot of work. Nice avalanche. Omar with the lasso tries to drag back reality. Is he going to be able to stay alive? Omar will be taken down. They lose Malik as well. This is actually a really big team fight in favor of Win. But the Batrider gets stunned by the avalanche, so he still takes a lot of spin damage. So it was a very weird engagement. So getting jumped in the meantime. Dreamco completely missing the mark by Mikey. He wants to hit multiple targets at the same time, but misses every single one of them and will lose his life because of it. A little bit of back and forth action, what we like to see. He dead, doesn't actually have mana for a TP just yet. And now he is going to go for it. Gets pushed to the side, further in the tree, so Omar doesn't no, spot doesn't him out. Him. <laughs> That's okay. unfortunate. Oh, Corey. He just walks right into Stoic. They place the sentry. They did manage to get the Aegis onto Malik in the meantime. The Vistas gets dragged back. The silence is problematic so that he can't get his shard going and they need to disengage quickly on the rest of the dire side. But they're forcing rotations they're all the way to Yasha. It's, it's like, okay. Maybe just uh, swap the prices around a little bit. There's going to be the leap forward. Avatar's you score. He does get taken down. The chain is actually doing a lot of damage here. Omni slash in onto Nuba. Nuba's dead. It bounces onto Malik, who then loses half his HP. Looking for Stoic. Stoic used every single spell he had in the book and will lose his life. But they force out a buyback cover. He's back in the game and uses the overgrowth onto Juggernaut. That's the buyback of the clutch. In. But Jeezy coming back through. TA2000 doesn't have much HP left. Does have another wind run and will be getting himself out of dodge. Mikey. Surrounded by enemies, he's got a waning rift left, but will be taken down regardless. Malik gets himself a big team fight victory for his team all the way through. I, I honestly would not really take a fight without the Omni Slash. Have a keep them back. New comes in, shackle shot onto the two supports, and it's a perfect hitter. Stoic forced FTP attempt will not be able to get away. And yeah, this is because the Juggernaut. Decided to try and right Still TA2000, he is really good with those shackles. Uh oh. There it is. Yep, reality. Spin to win will not be successful this time. Ava. Uh, Easy tries to get the toss back, but jumped a little bit too close to his own tower and. Garchal Visage will be feared up thanks to the shard that the Death Prophet got, so he can't even go into a stone form. Yeah, this is looking really well. Jeezy's looking for a catch. They managed to find the Batrider most of the time, but Malik was completely ready for that. Lasso on the other target, Chain Frost. It's still bouncing around, but with the pipe not really doing much damage in the process. The two supports are again found out, and they were hard bait. Which is uh, an early one. Tiny toss back. Toss back. On to you. Move up to EKB. Omni Slash bouncing around. Jesus is already dead. The Omni Slash doesn't do anywhere close to enough damage to get these kills coming in. The Chain Frost is pretty nice though. And it's actually continuing to bounce on the back line as well. This is a big Chain Frost. But they still heal way too much. You got pretty tank heroes on the opposing side, so even the perfect chain frost bounces will not be enough to get it done. The Age of Thousand still has that age is available. They want to get rid of the speed in because you know he's got bots as a plus four. <laughs> J2000 is going to quickly get jumped. That should be the Aegis pop. First life gone, but on the side. In comes Noob. Omni Slash actually... Oh no, it's the Swift Slash coming in from Reality. He doesn't have the Omni Slash just yet. Omar gets the last one, but he instantly gets taken down. And they're looking for TA2000. Forced to pop the BKB. This fight's not going as well as they'd like. Luckily enough, the Juggernaut spells are on cooldown. He almost has the Swift Slash again. Can he get it off on the edge? No, he is taken down. That's a big kill secured. Noob's BKB is oh, now going to use as well. Catchell on the run. Doesn't have... Oh, he does try to get himself away. No, he is going to get taken down. The Chain Frost bouncing around. Sinister Gaze. Hold back. TA2000 almost dropping down. Can they get the kill? Yes, they can. TA2000 falls. But it's the big bulky tank Malik that still stands alive. It's not superb. I mean, the show is pretty nice, I guess. There is going to be a lasso coming in. In response, the silence is problematic for Catchell. The Visage... Can he get himself the Grave Keeper's Cloak? Stop going. Reality is actually going to get taken down on one end. And Kachal 
He's in his little stone form, but that's also where he's going to drop. Yeah. The problem is, you yeah. play Juggernaut against Wind Ranger, carry to carry matchup is. Question is, which angle do they want to take? Is is in. On the Visage, and very quickly dropping Kachal. No buyback available on the Visage. It's all. It's uh, EXO and BKB used though. He also has a Lotus, so they have three Lotuses on PSG Quest. And Reality has a problem really getting close and getting the Omni Slash going. Oh, that's that's their glyph. Exorcism still up and running. Half duration left. The uh, Aegis minute and 50 Dark seconds. Back on Malik with back. the Nullifier Omni Slash coming in. Malik is dead. 10 kill streak picked up. Okay, they might just hold on for a little bit longer. Tier 2000 being chased. Lincoln Sphere being thrown out onto the Juggernaut to get close. Yeah, Nullifier coming in clutch. Onto the oh, that nice one. Trying to stay alive. Tier 2000's in the area. Uh, nice two man stomps coming out. The AoE silence. They're getting some debuffs on them. Sinister Gaze dragged back onto EA2K. Jeezy, he's ready for the Avatar. Uh, on the side. Gets silenced up by Noob though, but that's going to be the first life gone. And Reality still has a Nullifier, still has an Omni Slash. It is a... Yeah, he's level 25 on the Wind Ranger. Took the Undispellable Wind Run. Jane Frost bouncing around. It's a very bad bounce, but Jeezy's chasing him for more Noob. Does have a cheese at the ready, and with the BKB, TP will be attempting to get out. Actually, oh my god, the Lotus Orb Spell Reflect from the Omni Slash puts Noob back in the area, interrupts his TP. That is insane. Noob is now in trouble. The, the Lotus is his downfall, possibly, or is it? There's going to be Maybe. a catch <laughs> on the Juggernaut. He almost has a Swift Slash again, but he is going to be found out. The buyback from the Radiant side are going to come through and will clean it up. That was a wild team fight. Yeah, I that's that's wild. Like, casting Lotus Orb, and then you're kind of griefing if you're dead. dead. So no toss back play this time around. I mean, I still fight. That was one of the most... I never even occurred to me that you could interrupt the TP that way. Oh, noob into the fountain. That's nullified. Doesn't really take much damage in the process. Actually, his fountain diving even. There's gonna there be it the is again. Slip slash. He has the <laughs> Omni Slash still. Gets hexed up. And Mikey with the three man Dream Coil is trying to get some damage in, but it's just the two cores to try and get the fight going. Lasso drag back, Mikey in a lot of trouble. Yule Scepter, GG gets called. Omni Slash gets bounced all around, and it is a Swift Slash on top, but it does not matter. They already called the GG, and it will be PC Quest. Going on to the winter, winner bracket finals. But Winterbird oh. put up a really good show. They, they